going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today I'm going to be working with my wife's five and a half gallon beta tank. Uh, it's going to get a little bit of a remodel. Um, she doesn't really know it. I mentioned it a couple days ago. And um, it's going to be a surprise when she gets home from work. So basically what we're looking at here, this is a five and a half gallon top fin tank. Um, it's got a ten gallon filter that's adjustable down to five gallons. Um, it's got this cheap little black plastic lid on here with that little three three LED light and as you can see it's not that bright it lights up the center of the tank good but not the sides um, it's got this little tree in here that the beta likes to hang out in um, a heater black gravel nothing fancy so I'm gonna go and go ahead and uh, I'm gonna overhaul this um, it's gonna be getting sand substrate um, some rocks from outside it's gonna get some anacharis uh, I might pull in a nubius plant out of my 125 clean that up and put it in here um, and uh, I think overall it's going to look a lot nicer and a lot more natural. Uh, I'm also going to make a uh, polycarbonate lid for this. That's in one of my other videos. You can check that out if you want to see how to make polycarbonate lids. Um, it's going to be nice and clear. And I'm going to upgrade the lighting on this. So as I go through and do the little steps, I'll make little videos and put it all together and show you guys. But let's go ahead and upgrade this tank. All right, guys, I'm out in the garage right now. I do have a polycarbonate lid off of one of the five and a half gallon tanks that I took down. It fits this other five and a half gallon, so I'm just going to modify it. I put a couple marks in the plastic. You can see right below my nose there, um, so that I can cut this to size so it fits around the filter. So I'm going to go ahead. I got my little chop saw here. I'm going to cut this to pieces, or not pieces, cut it to size, and then we're going to take it inside and set it up. All right. So as you can see, I took the old lid off. And I'm going to set the new lid on here that I made. Let me get it up there. And as you can see, it fits there pretty good. So I'm going to leave that alone. Alright, so it's got a new lid on there. It's, it's already brighter just from the natural light of the ceiling here. So, I'm going to go ahead and start taking all this stuff out. Clean up some sand, get the sand in here. And then we'll start setting up decor. Alright, so I took that little tree out, um, the beta is out, um, he is currently over here in the 10 gallon, he's fine, he's doing alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this gravel out of here, wash up some sand, get the sand in there. Alright, so we got the gravel out, the sand's all mixed up and cleaned, so I'm going to go ahead and get the sand in there, and then we'll do a water change um, to clear up the water, and then I'm going to go ahead and start planting and putting decor in there. All right, so we got the sand in now. Uh, we got the rock in there. Uh, I'm still determining on if I want to have the rock just pressed up against the back like that to leave enough room in the front to swim around, or if I want to reorient that rock a different way. I'm still deciding. Um, for right now, I think it looks okay there, um, but I might bump it forward to put a little bit of plants behind it and kind of make a wall back behind it. Um, still undecided. Um, but for right now, uh, I'm gonna figure that out and then I'm going to come over to my 55 gallon here and I'm going to pick on some of this anacharis, uh, trim it up a little bit, put the trimmings into the 5 gallon and then I'm going to show you guys what I got for a light fixture. Um, now it's pretty interesting. Um, I seen a video a couple days ago about something similar and I thought I would give it a try um, and I will show you guys that when we get to that point but I think it's going to work out pretty good. So. Let me figure out this rock's orientation, how I want to set it up, and then we'll get trimming some plants and get those plants put in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here and get some of this anacharis. This one here looks pretty good. Take that one. And that one. Take this one in the back. This one looks pretty good. I'll come over here. Yeah, we'll try that to start. 
Okay, so we got it planted up a little bit, uh, mostly in Acarus, one in a little Anubius plant. Um, I made a ring to lay in the top here out of air tubing, and I've got some duckweed in here for a little bit of nutrient absorption. Um, I know the Anacharis is going to take care of most of it, but I just want to have that in there as a little bit extra. Um, so we're going to go ahead and place the lid in place here. That's nice and good. All right, now, lighting. So I want to show you guys what I got for a light for this. Five and a half gallon tanks are a little difficult to find lighting to go across the top because the tank is only 16 inches. Um, the smallest light that I could find was one for a 10 gallon tank like this. And I believe this is 18 inches and I don't want to have it overhanging the tank like I do on this 20 gallon over here. You can see that light overhangs the tank. And this five and a half gallon would look exactly the same. So this is what I'm gonna do. I went out and bought a desk lamp. Um, it was about eight, nine dollars. And then I put a LED bulb, it's 5,000 Kelvin daylight, into it. So we're just gonna set it up there like that. And we'll spin it around, get it fairly centered on the tank. Turn it on. There we go, that looks a lot better. Much, much better than it did um, with just that cheap little light. The water is still a little cloudy from doing the sand, um, but that intake sponge back there will take care of that. Now, this setup isn't super high light, it's uh, relatively low. Um, I may or may not try out uh, different power lights. This is only a 800 lumen. I, uh, I can get 1100 lumen, um, but I don't know if I want to go that far yet. So for right now, this is what we got for the beta tank. I feel like that's fairly good lighting. I don't think it's going to grow a lot of algae because it's not super bright, but these low light plants should be able to grow with that um, without any issues at all. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the beta, which is over here in the 10 gallon tank. I'm going to reintroduce them back into the five and a half gallon and uh, that'll be pretty much it for this tank. Okay guys, uh, the bait is back in. He is a little bit stressed from the move back and forth between tanks and he's also in a brand new environment that he's never seen before. So he's resting on top of the rock right now. Um, he'll be alright but as you can see here, this is the final tank setup. I think it came out pretty good. I also added in a couple uh, of Malaysian trumpet snails just to help with the algae control if any starts to form. Um, but for right now that's pretty much it. Um, I might get another plant to put in here. I might, um, back here on the back left, I might do a java fern and move some of that anacharis over behind this rock a little bit more to make more of a wall. Um, but that'll be for the future. So that is pretty much the basic setup. Let me just back out so you can see the light and everything on it. All in all, I think that came out pretty good. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I think my wife's gonna be pretty pleased with her new tank. Uh, this beta will be swimming around probably in about five, 10 minutes. Um, I'm not too worried about it. He's in good conditions. I checked the water quality on everything. Everything's fine. He's just stressed from moving from the 10 to the five. Um, but. All in all, I think he's going to really enjoy his new home, and, uh, you know, it looks a lot better than the other tank did um, before this one. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, you know, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, this is about two minutes after I ended the video. Um, you can see he's swimming around perfectly fine, so, just so you guys know. This beta is not going to die, nothing's going to happen to him, um, he's perfectly fine.